All right. Let's do a stream here. It's running late, I know. Not the most ideal situation, to be honest. Not my usual 11 p.m. live stream. So, you know, things happen, so. Let's just round up the gang here. And then we'll see how it goes. Give me a second. Nope, not that one. Uh, go Hawks, by the way. They're down 2 1 and end of the day, second period against the Golden Knights, which is my second favorite team. But there's only two days, or two times, two occasions I don't root for. Vegas. One is either on November 1st or the closest date to November 1st, or when they're playing the Blackhawks. So, let's see who all shows up. Uh, we have three boxes. boxes today. Really? J38. J38, did you recently change your uh, profile picture? Or it's different. Uh, yeah, I got Chicago in a sweep. I mean, of course I want the Blackhawks to win, and you know, if, if for some reason Vegas does go on, fine. I can be happy with it, but they would be one of the two teams, I would say, can win the West, if not the Cup. Um, the three teams, I think, can win this postseason, this playoff season. This uh, crazy 2020, who knows what's going on, postseason. Stanley Cup playoffs would be Avalanche, Vegas, and Tampa Bay. Those are the three teams, I would say, have... A legitimate shot of the Stanley Cup. A fourth team, surprisingly, I would say either they're playing each other, they're playing tomorrow instead of tonight because of a long ass game. Uh, Boston or Carolina would be that fourth legitimate team. Kind of a crazy idea. So, we'll do some of the uh, regular stuff here. We'll say hi. It's okay for us to say hi to each other on this live stream. Go ahead. While I'm talking, you guys can conversate with each other. It's okay. Because I'm just here just filling in time until we do the unboxing. So, during my ranting, if you guys just say hi to each other and catch up, that's totally fine. This is a friendly environment here. We're totally pro First Amendment, we're totally pro free speech and anti-censorship and anti-timing out people and whatever those other people do on their live streams. So, let's see here, we have J38 and MTS. MTS, I'm sorry about your locker there, your display, your hat accessory, it looked really cool. Um, Wish you did a video about it before it was uh, in its current status, but do a video on it and tell us how you're going to recover, how you're going to rise up. Um, well, white Blackhawks are these? I only have the one. My brother has a few. I don't know if, I think he might have a white one. I'm not sure. No, I don't think he does. I think my uncle does. My un my uncle has a Taze uh, jersey, white away one. I have the home jersey. This is the uh, Taze. So wondering if I can move that out of the way. Um, 
da, 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 da. Yeah, this is a, we're in the garage, so this is my, uh, not mine, but this is the, uh, big saw here that can cut your fingers or your hands off. So we'll keep that out of the frame as best we can. Um... So, Jay, how are the Red Hot Royals doing after that big win against the Cubs last Thursday? That huge win. How you, have you guys been doing? Cubs? We didn't play all weekend against the Cardinals because they're contaminated. Um, and actually the funny thing I saw on Twitter was we had a three and a half game lead in the Central, I think to the Brewers on Friday, and by the end of the weekend we had a four and a half game lead, and we didn't play any games. That is what I find hilarious. 7-11. Not bad. Actually, it's... It could be worse. Uh... They swept the Twins? Wow. Brewers won against the Twins today, my dad told me, so that's uh, kind of surprising. Twins are kind of, uh... MTS has me on the big screen TV. That is epic. That is epic. Um, give, uh, Fit Insider's trying to get on. Hold on. Let me, let me send him the link. Done. Done. We'll see if that works. Um, you still have a question? Um, the Cleveland Indians, uh, first time back at Progressive Field. It's uh, where we won the uh, 2016 World Series. So, you know, good memories. Really great uh, times last time we were there. Um, we won 7 1 today. Kipnis had a few good RBIs. Hayward had a home run. That's all I really remember. But they won 7 1. They play again tomorrow at Cleveland. Two Cleveland players have been sent home for quarantine or have been isolated away from the team and sent away for quarantining because they broke the rules and uh, they partied in Chicago during the weekend playing the White Sox in Chicago. Um, now, they're on the south side. To be honest, what kind of partying can you do on the south side other than at grandstands? Grandstands is this sports hat store that I keep seeing on Fitted Hat Society Facebook group. It's like a mecca. This place looks awesome. I have to get there one day. But that's on the south side. It's a little far away. Some other day. But otherwise, where do you go on the south side? Really nowhere, to be honest. Um, I mean, if they were playing the, playing at Wrigley, then yeah, you have a little bit closer access to the north side, to the better part of Chicago. Um, but they got, they're they put in quarantine. I think it was fair that, you know, the rules have been set that don't break the bubble, don't, you know, break away from the team to keep the bubble mentality, even though... MLB should have done the bubble all along, like hockey and basketball are doing right now, and WNBA are doing right now. So, I think it's a fair punishment. Um, going off of kind of that topic, college football is kind of in a what's going on situation. I think it's Big Ten and Pac-12 have confirmed and voted on today, announcing that they're going to delay the football season, and, and you're going to try to do it again in the spring. I think that's fair. Um, for me, I heard well, I heard Nick Saban say, well, you know, I'm going to be criticized about this, but, you know, when the players are with us, they're going to be safe, safer than at home. Mm, no, I, I can't fully believe that. I can agree to that theory. Look at the Marlins. Look at the Cardinals. Grown men playing a sport for a living and for the Marlins, half the team, majority of the team, gets COVID from going out to an Atlanta bar or club. 
and the Cardinal players get COVID from going to the Ozarks, a big pool party. So you're telling me that you can control college kids better than professionals can control themselves, and now the Indian players or the weekend with Chicago. I can't really believe the execution on that. Um, of course, now I don't know that I'm not in the same kind of situation. Um, I suck at... Give me one second there. Oh. Okay, sorry. I had a message from my dad there. Um, can't really... So, I suck at sports. I haven't done sports since third grade, basketball. So I've ne never been in a position of, you know, playing sports, you know, for a living or, you know, it being so important rather than just being a fan of it and watching. Um, Aaron C., welcome. Fit Insider, welcome. Uh, just catching up on the comments here. I'll, I'll catch you on the comments in a moment here after my rant. But, of course, say hi to each other. C converse while I'm ranting. It's okay that 100% attention is not attended to me. It's okay. Um, my question is, though, because just, I think it was Justin Fields, the Ohio, the Ohio State, uh, Boo Ohio State, Ohio State University, uh, quarterback, he just tweeted out in reaction to Big Ten suspending, delaying the football season until spring, SMH, dot, 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 shaking my head, and it's like, and then Trevor Lawrence is like, we want to play, and then Trump is like, well, maybe... It'd be a tragedy if it'd be tragic if we didn't have college football this year, and there's a lot of people saying, you know, let them play. And I do understand that there is money behind this that helps pay for the athletic departments, not just for football, but for other de other sports, for men's and women's uh, sports across the campus. I get that. That's important. Especially with football, you know, they play in the fall into January, and then the spring, you have the NFL draft. Makes sense. Kind of a seasonal cycle that we're all used to. And before I get to my other point, so Trump weighing, weighing in on the situation saying, oh, it would be tragic if we didn't have college football this year. Stephen A. Smith, ESPN, point out, I hate him. Don't really like him. Loudmouth dude. He said... If we just wore the masks in the first in the first damn place, we wouldn't be having this. We would have had college football. We would have had nicer things, which I agree with. So wear your damn masks, please. I shouldn't really have to say please, but I'm gonna say it just because for formality. But all the players are saying we want to play, we want to do this, we want to get into, we want to play football. We're, we're gonna be safe. Let me ask this question, and to the coaches, I, I get it for the coaches too, that, you know, this is their livelihood, this is what they do for a living, and, they're, and most of them are good at it, like at Orgeron. When, when is it, what threshold do you have to reach that you would put your students, you would put your student athletes first before the game, before the sport? When is your student athlete safety well-being more important than anything else. What threshold do we have to reach? Because I'm guessing a global pandemic isn't that threshold, damn it. So let me know what is. If it's World War Three, we almost had that in January. So maybe we should try that again, see what happens. So I guess a global, global pandemic isn't the threshold to put student-athlete safety ahead of the game. I'm I, I sound like a stick in the mud, mud here, like my mom and sister, but it's just my thought process on it. Let's, let's catch up on the comments here. I'm here listening, don't want to focus on me, Hatter. Uh, uh, Mr. Emil has PHC, um, welcome. Um, while I was ranting, I had encouraged before, if, uh, if you wanted to converse with the other members of the class here in the chat just wanted to say hi to them and say how's it going how's everything been doing diverting your attention away from my rant that's totally fine that's okay here 
If you don't pay attention to my rant, that's okay. That's what replays are for. So, but if you do pay attention to my rant, I appreciate it even more. So let's see here. Actually, there's any sports today. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in now, Jeff. Ta-da. Uh, what goalie has the best mask in NHL? Best goalie NHL mask? I'll have to do that another time. Can't really think of it right now off the top of my head. Um, you should do a live stream at Grandstand. Well, I need to get there first. I'd buy a hat from there. Um, da, 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 the locker was legit. Carl's were in the Alex. Alex didn't know that. Aaron C. Hello again. Uh, what's... Alright. So. J38. You're the first one here. You get to choose which, which hat I unbox first. And while you choose... MTS, you'll pick the second box. So whichever, so J38, you pick the first box. One, two, or three. Or how about this? Yeah, one, one, two, or three. MTS, whichever number he do, he calls out, call it a different number. And while I, while you do that, I have to be right back. Okay, had to do something for, for Poppinadal there. Um, Russell Machine, welcome back. Steven Spams. To be honest, Steven, I believe this is the first time I'm seeing your, your uh, face here. Welcome. Matt W, have you unboxed yet? Matt W, no, I have not. Steven Spans, you are not late. Um, yes, okay, so... Okay. Okay, so MTS, you get to pick between Canada and Hat Club for the second unboxing. So, J38 picked the Brand 47 hat, so MTS you will pick either the Canada hat or the Hat Club pre-order hat. So let me know. So, I'm going to take my hat off, it's, it's warm here in the, uh, the, the garage. Um... New hat drop came from Fanatics a few weeks ago. And it was like a pre order hat, special event hat. So, ordered a hat from them, and then I canceled the order because I'm like, no, I found a different, better hat. So then, for, but different from the Fanatics brand hat, and then I ordered a brand 47 hat from the Fanatics website. Well, it became available on the Brand 47 website, and I would not would have had to wait until August 20th or something to get it, and I got a discount for it. So I've been making points and points in my Brand 47 account, so I had enough to take 20% off, and I got free shipping, boys. So, I'll be the first of any of you to get this hat. 
this team hat, actually. So I'm betting none of you have yet released. None of you have released yet, but I'm releasing myself. I am releasing the Kraken. The am that Kraken. What's crack a lacking? <laughs> Bad puns, I know. Um, yes, I did get a haircut a few weeks ago. So, yep, Kraken hat, Seattle Kraken, the newest, the 32nd NHL team, and probably the last one is my new hat. Okay, I had to adjust that, and now I had to readjust it. And so, the first Fanatics hat that I saw for Seattle Kraken. It was between like a navy or a, or a gray. I, I wanted a dad hat. And... Ah, crap. Vegas scored again, so it's 3-1. Um, so, there's only the Fanatics brand hats out there. I'm like, I guess. I'm kind of... My hand is forced to get the Fanatics. Because Fanatics kind of sucks. But then... I think it was Dandy9 point out to me that they had brand 47 hats out, like, oh, cool, on the Fanatics website. So then I looked there, canceled the order for the, the Fanatics dad hat, and then ordered one that looked exactly like this. And I saw that 40, brand 47 website had these available. I'm like, gotta get this one instead from the website itself. So, nice navy hat. I wanted the navy one rather than the black one, I mean, the gray, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think the gray might have been a better choice, but I think for now, this is fine, um, yeah, this is a, this is a cool one, um, yeah, because it's like, the navy kind of blends a bit too much, I mean, I like the navy hat color overall, navy is one of my prominent colors, um, so I think the next Kraken hat that I get would be a gray one, maybe Fanatics brand, or maybe that anchor that has the Seattle Space Needle as the lo secondary logo, that'd be a cool one to get too. So, for sure, not white, for sure, not black, um, I mean, maybe white, but just not a huge fan of black hats, but that's going to be a little ironic and kind of a paradox and hypocrisy. We see one of the hats later on tonight. If you stick around, so please stick around for that uh, Paradox hat. So, let's catch up with comments here. I hope one of y'all hats gets uh, awesome. Canada, da 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 da, Seattle NHL, pink, <laughs> no, no pink bottom yet. That'd be fun. So, yeah, so Seattle Kraken became the 32nd NHL team. So, I technically have 15, 16 NHL teams, but Seattle Kraken will not be on the ice until not this upcoming season. That's going to be wonky after the COVID stuff, but it was always planned that for the 2021-22 season, Seattle Kraken would hit the ice. Give me one second. Give me one second here. Crap. Okay, it's getting warm in the jersey. So, just gonna do the Nike shirt. Water chugging. Let's catch up on the comments before we get to the Canadia hat. Hat diversity. Um, I really thought they'd have some neon green if there was somewhere. I think that'd be a cool color collaboration. I think, of course, down the road, um, they might do like some collaborations. Like, I'm not gonna go grab it now, but I have a well. This is different where. Especially with the Cubs, Blackhawks, Bulls. I haven't seen it done with the White Sox or the Bears. 
sometimes the bears, actually, no, I see it done with the bears, um, city flag colors. It's easy with the city of Chicago, the uh, river blue, uh, red stars, and the white. Um, but, I mean, I've seen other times before teams kind of crossing colors, so I think that'd be really cool for a Kraken neon green color wave. So this is hat number 242, I think. So, yeah. Detroit GEQ, Red Wings all day. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Um, how are they doing the qualifying playoff rounds? Oops. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my Blackhawks were doing a little bit better than than what you guys were doing. Sorry. Um, Alright, so let's move on. So, MTS has requested the Canada. So this one comes from Canada. It's not a Canadian hat only, but it comes from Canada. It comes from Van City Sports. Um, I... I forget who it was. I think this guy's name was Nick. Talked with him a bit back in July-ish when I was at uh, my local sports outlet Express and kind of showing off like the mom and pop store and like the cool hats that you don't usually see that are like Chicago team based. A lot of White Sox, Black Hawks, Bulls, some Bears, some Cubbies. Um, and he turned me on to a place called Van City Sports, and he said that he knew the owner. Um, they, at the time, they are just coming back from their COVID shutdown. So they're doing, like, a, a special deal, which I missed. Uh, it was, like, a 20% off promo, and I missed it, so whoops. And then finally came around to buying from them. When I first bought the original hat in the 7 to 5 8 size, they sent me a message, like, right away saying, Hey, Jeff, this is Michelle from Van City Sports. Um, yeah, we had a, a break-in a few weeks ago, um, and we don't have that hat size anymore. So, just to let you know, you're going to get refunded, but we don't have that one available. I'm like, man, I feel, I feel so bad that, that they had this happen to them, that, you know, being a small business, they're trying to survive through COVID, and now that they got broken into, and they're missing their inventory, it's like, Damn, this sucks. I, I feel bad for them. So, I was talking with her a bit, and she said through email that they did have seven and a half hat sizes. So, I'm like, I'll take it. She said there were seven left. She's like, they're available uh, in store and online. And I wanted to, I, di I didn't joke about it, but I wanted to joke like, well, I'm from Chicago, so there might not be a chance I'll come in store to get it. So, I ordered it. I ordered it August 3rd, and it came today. It was actually expected to be delivered tomorrow, but, I mean, one day early might not be a huge difference, but it felt quicker than expected, because it did say, allow 7 to 10 business days for delivery, and then, because of COVID, there might be more delays. So, like, crap. I mean, I might, I mean, I thought of joking with her saying I'll meet you at the border of USA and Canada and just throw the hat over the border save on shipping you know so I didn't say that though that's I said I meant I had that joke for another guy before um fuck. okay fine we'll have to do like a woodle hat trick or something to make a comeback here if not then hawks and five but we'll see um I haven't watched Post to Post in a while. I've seen them before. Um, they had a little... little neg negative kind of tinnity connotation towards the Blackhawks sometimes, so I wasn't a big fan of that, but I've watched them before. Um, okay, let's open this up. Right? Because you don't want to hear me talk anymore. You just want to see a hat. So this one comes from Canada. Comes from Vancouver. So what Canadian Vancouver team would you expect me to get? Alright. 
That's some pretty nice packaging there. Yeah, da 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 yeah. Ooh, Vancouver Canucks. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh. All blue bottom brim. Kind of interesting compared to like a Blackhawks where it's like a grander brim. Sometimes I see grander brims for hockey hats. Sometimes I see the same color under brim hats. So it's not like a, like, ooh, it's an exclusive blue bottom or pink bottom. It's the same color as, th the whole brim is the same color. So, this feels like wool. It is wool. This will be very, a very tight fit. Not as tight as I thought. I will have to loosen it up, but it's a pretty good fit, actually. It's not too bad. So it's a, it's a little tight-ish. But, not as, because, just for some reason, the, the material of wool feels like it's already small. Because I've had wool hats in the, hat, in the past with hockey hats, and they have felt small. So that's why I was fearing of, even though, before I put it on, it's going to feel small. And, yeah, 4-1 Vegas crap. Um, love wool, Canucks have good stuff, um, Grizzlies, <laughs> close, I think they do have some Grizzly stuff on their website, so, um, Van City Sports, go check them out, um, they got some other good stuff there that I might go back to go get, um, this hat was, cause I had put out a poll of either getting a Lightning hat, Tampa Bay Lightning hat, or a Vancouver Canucks hat, so, the pull kind of led towards Lightning. My hockey advisor, my brother, leaned towards Canucks, and I kind of figured with the Canucks, you know, they're kind of a lower seed. You know, they're gonna get they're gonna get past the Minnesota Wild. Minnesota Wild aren't a great hockey team. What great teams come from Minnesota, other than the Minnesota Lynx? You know, right fitted insider. So they're of course they're gonna get past the first round. So I can wear this for the second round. So, they might win past St. Louis. I'm predicting the upset. But if not, then at least, you know, I have for the one round for the playoffs. Um, and then I might get the lightning hat later on. But they were both 50 bucks about um, with shipping and tax. It was about 50 bucks both ways. It was like between... This one was like 48 maybe. And on Canadian dollars, it was like $65. And U.S. dollars, about 48-ish, 47. So, and there was another, there was a guy on eBay that was selling these Canucks hats, or similar Canucks hats, and I uh, was between the two, but his price was a little bit pricier than the Van City Sports Spot, and I figured, support local businesses, you know? 100% um, wool, made in China, lana, wool in Spanish, um, nice blue. Uh, like my brother said, it would have been nice if they had didn't have the Vancouver on the top. I'm going to find another. There was this Orca logo. It's going to be really hard, so I figured it's fine. Just get the hat. Move on to the next one. Yes, correct. I am correct for the most part. Um, I got my two in just now. Two MTS. Two what? What did you get two in? Two uh, basketballs in? Two bikes in? Two... Uh... J38, you switched... You switched two. Did it involve if you switched totally support that um because yeah they would have had a good push for the playoff Simmons and uh, PK Subban missions um him on my fancy team.
on other great players, and I still... Coyotes. So he went from the Devils? Or because Taylor Hall was traded over? Either way. Now don't let MT don't let um hats hear you switch teams because he's gonna give you crap about it. Or maybe you could you do what you do, but don't let hats hear about that because he's gonna run you down with his bandwagon rules and those bandwagon r fan rules were really shit rules. So we'll see. Um, yeah. Also, Coyotes are the unofficial mascot for Mount Prospect. Wait. Hat Club. May. It was the black and white, pink under, color. When I made the order, on the that I had ordered a six and seven eighth hat size. I am more often a. Messaged someone through Hat Club in the situation that I accidentally ordered, made the mistake. I swore. I've seen this one before where it's kind of like a. This happened before, after this incident, where. I selected one hat size, but it gave me a different hat size of the smaller six and seven eighths. I'm like, that's not my hat size. So I had contacted Liz and said, hey, this is what happened. They fixed it for me. Um, I was trying to talk to Luis. He's one of like one of the top customer service guys for Hat Club. I keep hearing about with uh, Fitted Hat Society and some other people. Didn't get a t chance to talk with him, but kind of mentioned him by name, and they're like, We'll take care of it instead. Yeah, Luis is a good guy, but we'll take care of you too. I'm like, totally fine, as long as someone takes care of me. So I do have, it should be in writing in one of the emails and the transcripts that this should be a seven and a half size. So, let's see. I think I hear a pin. Let's see if I got a seven and a half half size in this one. The record skipped. Um, give me one second. <sighs> okay. Long story short, just to do a review here. When I first ordered the hat, accidentally it came up, I swore, I clicked seven and a half. It came up as six and seven eighths hat size I ordered. Contacted someone from Hat Club saying, hey, can you fix my uh, order, please? I messed something up. They said, yeah, we'll fix it. And that was like within two or three days of the order being made. Because I made the order on Sunday, and that's when it was the last day for the order. So uh, let's see if I get the right hat size. Yeah, da, da, da. I want to be careful because I also noticed that the box kind of got a little, eh, a little uh, wonky here. It's fine. It could be worse. So, okay. Now, 
I'm not someone who's too big into the, the hat pins. Now, getting like my first hat club hat pin, that was cool. I'm like, dudes, I got a hat club hat. I'm cool now. But this one, they did it with the uh, taxi cabs, taxi cab hats. But take a look at this hat club hat pin. Pink, black, and white. Damn, look at that. I'm gonna need to get closer to the camera if you can see that. Alright. So, that's really cool. We'll take it out of the, the bag in a moment there. A little dusty on the inside. It's a seven and a half. Invoice. That's cute. It is. I okay, I remember the C being white, actually, instead of the outline, and bam, pink underbrim, black sweatband, genuine merchandise, ooh, ooh, that's fresh. Okay, a little tight, um, gonna make a video about how my head might have grown, but... Um, this was a few months ago. Um, Prince Pete. Yep. Yes, it is a pink underbrim fad that I'm following. Uh, this one, I might just bend the brim a bit, just to, I actually, I might have to stretch it out. But, um, black C with the white outline, tonal black new era flag, Black and charcoal, or no, just black and white Batterman, nothing on the other side. And then, pink underbrim, pink underbrim, look at that. So, this is my second pink underbrim in my possession. The other one is a Chicago White Sox 2005 World Series patch, and that was from eBay, from a third-party seller, other than Hat Club. And I do have that Hat Club pre-order of the 05 White Sox, 92 Blue Jays, and 95 Braves had coming in in September, so about a month from now, ish. They said September, so we'll see. Um, this is kind of expected a little early, to be honest, because they said that their taxi hats were kind of delayed, so I was expecting, like, okay, taxis were delayed. It's, I didn't have anything ordered for that, so I was kind of expecting this to be, be delayed. They also did a pre-order in the same time frame for these red velvet hats for like selective hats where these black and white pink other brims were for every team so knew I had to get a Cubs pink under a brim and hopefully this isn't the last Cubs pink under brim that I get um crowns are more shallow uh, J38, now that you mention that, it's an interesting uh, observation or interesting note. It, it does seem, with the crown here the, at the point, this kind of juts out a bit more than the Vancouver hat, than the Cubs one. I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky or maybe I'm just overthinking this. Um... So, I mean, I'm not saying, so Fit Insider was saying that the taxis were, were delayed for some reason, um, and the black and white pinkies and the red velvets were early, so not to say that every other head club order might be early, I mean, it could be late, could be on time, who knows, we just have to be patient, so... This is my, f this is my first pre-order hat, actually from Hat Club. I've seen a few other people get, tons of pre-orders before, hadn't gotten one, until I finally joined the pink, underbrim hype train. Mister Hats. Um, the, red velvets came out at the same time as the black and white pink underbrims, so. 
they should have shipped at the same time. Um, I would be more surprised that these hats would have shipped out before the Red Velvets, um, because they made every team for the, um, for these colorways, and there's only, like, a few for the pink, for the, uh, Red Velvets, but maybe more people got the Red Velvets than the, um, than these ones. Um, hats, Mr. Hats, I don't know if I had, if you had seen this, but the, uh, Hat Club pin out of the uh, bag there. So this one I will for sure uh, untested to call. Uh, okay. Um, so let's put this hat, this pin in. This one I think I might keep the pin with it. Maneuver. So, uh, try wear on the left side or the right side. I'm kind of feeling right side. You gotta be shitting me. Of course, I would drop it. Didn't break. Be like, hey, can I get another pin? Yeah, okay, that, that looks a little bit better. Tempted. Okay. So, let me do one check here. I just want to check on the Hawks game, see how much time is left until we make our epic comeback. Three minutes left in the third. I think we can do it. Um, okay, so I'm going to, for airflow sake, I'm going to put the Kraken hat back on. Um, anything you guys want to discuss, I can spend a little bit more time here after class with you. Um, I don't have, I have two days off, today was my first day off, I got a day off tomorrow, so, um, anything you guys want to discuss hat-wise or anything else? You mention the comments down below, and we'll uh, we'll give it some uh, discussion time. It's crazy. Um, so I have. So while I'm waiting for someone to talk about, bring up a topic, I have. Two more hats coming in this week. One by Friday from Hat Club. One from eBay by Saturday ish. Oh, excuse me. Um, and then I have another special hat coming in. I got the tracking info today, but we'll see when. Cause it, it's from Hat Club, but. Um, I'll see when the tracking number gets updated, because right now it's like, oh, I don't even have, it says in the post office system, there's no label for it. There's a tracking number, but no label for it, so it needs to go through the process first, get out of Arizona, and then make it way on down to MP here, and then we'll, um, do a good video for that one. Uh, that's why... Uh, J38, work has been going pretty good, um, at the yellow and blue store, tech store, um, still had a few people asking this week, I think two, asking, why are you guys out of stuff? What, are you guys going out of business? No, sir, we're just in the middle of a pandemic right now, so... A lot of manufactured goods, especially from China, where the virus originated, um, production has kind of halted for a few months now, and it is a little absurd that we're not getting a lot of printers in, or, well, printers, not getting printers in is kind of absurd, not getting webcams in, eh, I can understand, not getting ink in, it's like, mm, it's kind of odd too, but you should also, you should also invest in the laser printer instead. 
Um, I had a ink demo go wrong the other day. I still have a little blue left on my hand. I was showing an elderly couple how an eco tank works. How, how I was trying to show off and be like, oh, this this bottle of ink, this won't spill unless you, you know, put it in the printer head itself into the inkwell. It won't it won't uh, spill. Shake one, shake two, it goes everywhere on my hand, and it's like dripping everywhere, and I have to like hold it, and I have to go across the carpet so it doesn't drip on the wood floor in the computer section, and then wash it off, and it's kind of a funny mess, and uh, glad I didn't have the, the red ink uh, that would have looked pretty bad, especially when I went to the bathroom on the white countertop sinks. Um, yeah, red would not have looked really good, to be honest. Uh, your line of... Um, I don't know. Um, my own line of PCs? I don't know. I mean, it'd be better than most of the ones that we have. Um, see, my ideal PC, we don't have too many of them, but my ideal PC would be a Ryzen 7. 3800X, why not? I mean, I, I got the 3700X, but I was on a bit of a budget, but 3800X and shit, Vegas 1. Damn it. Okay, Black Ox and 5 then. 5 games. So, my ideal computer would have a 3800X, you know, to sell to customers, a Ryzen 7 at least, 12 gig gigs of RAM, you know, just enough. You know, 16 gigs would be more purpose for, like, an engineering student or someone who does, like, video production, good video editing production, might I add. Um, but 12 gigs would still be enough, you know, to do more than 15 tabs of Chrome on your net browser and do some other multitasking. Uh, 512 SSD, preferably if it's M.2. Uh, maybe a light-end graphics card, maybe. But yeah, I think that'd be an ideal PC to sell to customers. What else we got? Um, so I got at least three more hats coming in. Um, video production updates. I, I'm i in the middle of one. I'm doing some... I've done some splicing already. I have to do some voiceover work. And I'm going to do some cool special effects with some call-out... 3D tracking effects on in After Effects, and they have to do a refilm for a follow-up video for that. Did some filming for a hockey hat video, and I still have my 232 hat video to do. It's a special one from uh, forget, but we have the hat 232 video to do. Um, Another baseball hat video to do, and that's what I have in my mind so far. So, Harvard class, really haven't been at it as much as I should have been. Um, wish I was, could pay a little bit more attention to it, but that's my own damn fault. Um, what else? Anything else from anyone else? Um... really it. So, oh, and I'm, I'm going to be finishing up my Crown Wipes commercial, finally. Um, that's really it. I mean, I, yeah, there's nothing much else with the updates. So I guess a recap here. Trade that Star Wars for for Braves? Your Star Wars Braves hat? What, what are you talking about, MTS? What are you talking about? This is intriguing. I know that you had showed your Star Wars hat before. I remember it a bit that it was like some sort of like, some sort of like misorder, miscommunication. I was all over it. 
Oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk later about that. We'll talk later about this. So, if no one else has anything to add, which is totally fine, it's late, I get it. I like to have a decently quiet house when I do my live streams, so that's why I do it later than usual. Um, it's just my situation here. So, I, I do really appreciate those who came out to watch the video tonight. Um, even if you were like hats and just, you know, made like two or three comments in the in the live stream. I really appreciate you watching it. Um So I mean especially Russell Machine twenty eight, you know. I appreciate him coming out. I don't see him too often anymore, but I appreciate him coming out to late night class here. So uh Matt W was in, um Aaron C was in one time, um some Stevens guy. I wanna double check this. Um, okay, I can't go too far back, but there was a, a Stevens guy, I remember. Um, of course, J38, MTS. Um, I know Red Fan Florida was going to be here, but I started too late and he had to go to bed. Totally understand. So if he's watching the replay, uh, enjoy. Um, I don't get the notifications. Um, so, recap. At 2.42, Seattle, the Seattle Kraken, brand 47, cleanup hat, which is a dad hat, a very supreme hat style, 2.43, Vancouver Connects, 59.50, my 16th of 30 NHL 59.50 hats, because Seattle probably won't be making 59.50 hats either ever, or for a while. I hope it's for a while, because I hope New Era gets the license back, and I will never buy a St. Louis Blues hat. Of course, if one's donated to me, I'll add it to the collection. And then hit 244, Chicago Cubs, black and white, pink underbrim, hat club pre-order special. So I'm getting close to 250. I don't really think I'll do anything too special for 250. Unless someone gives me an idea for a 250 special. So if you have any ideas of what I should do for my 250th hat, let me know. Now, technically, I do actually have more than 250... I have more than 244 hats. I probably have like 250 already. But there are some hats that I own but don't necessarily count in the inventory collection. Some of them are, are, are not counted in the collection, but they are inventoried. So, it's complicated, but everyone collects their hats and counts their hats in their own ways. Totally fine. Just my system. Uh, make 250,000, Steve. Yeah, I know Russell Machine. Yeah, I know that, but... He's just, though I don't see him as often. So, that's a recap. 242, 243, 244. Thank you, as always. Head off to you always for watching. And I will see you guys in another video, another live stream. I think, I think next week, when I get uh, the two hats from this week, I'll do another unboxing. It'll be pretty cool. One of them is a... Hat Club Special, the other is a nice eBay hat. So, I think we'll do another live stream like this once I get those hats next week. So, that's off to you for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Wear your masks and stay safe. Damn. I wish the Blackhawks won.